After more than five months of war, the UN Security Council for the first time demanded an immediate ceasefire in Gaza after the United States, Israel's ally which vetoed previous drafts, abstained. Drawing applause in the normally stayed Security Council, all 14 other members voted in favor of the resolution which demands an immediate ceasefire for the ongoing Islamic holy month of Ramadan. The resolution calls for the truce to lead to a lasting, sustainable ceasefire and demands that Hamas and other militants free hostages seized in their October 7 attack that triggered the massive Israeli military campaign. Palestinian envoy Riyad Mansour fought back tears as he said that the resolution should be a turning point in ending the war. From 19... Apologies to those who the world has failed, to those that could have been saved but were not, he said. The United States had repeatedly blocked Security Council resolutions that put pressure on Israel but has increasingly shown frustration with its allies the United Nations warns of impending famine in Gaza. Moments after the United States declined to veto the latest resolution, Netanyahu announced that he would no longer send to Washington a delegation requested by President Joe Biden to discuss Rafa. Hamas welcomed the resolution and said it would engage in talks on a prisoner exchange brokered by Qatar, after repeated delays in securing a deal. The October 7 attack by Hamas, the deadliest in Israel's history, resulted in the deaths of about 1,160 people, mostly civilians. Israel responded by vowing to eliminate Hamas. Its Gaza campaign has killed more than 32,000 people, mostly women and children, according to the health ministry in the Hamas-run territory. Russia made a last-minute but unsuccessful push to call in the resolution for a permanent rather than lasting ceasefire.